Would have been a bittersweet watch the game for Jack Ginnivan on Friday night because his role, uh, Hill, uh, McGreary and others, uh, was filled very well. And it won't be, he won't be just a slam dunk straight back into the 18 at least. No, I, I, don't th- I think he was in trouble anyway. So if, even if he didn't get the suspension, I don't think he was playing round one. Those that you speak to at Collingwood really? say that Hill had gone past him and McCreary applies pressure like no one else in that He didn't have a great pre-season. No, no, I think yeah, they, they were so impressed with Bobby Hill that he wasn't going to play anyway. So Collingwood win again this week and they perform, I don't think he'll come straight back in. We said this a lot last year, but they're not just good for Collingwood fans, they're great for the game. The way they play, yeah. if it succeeds in the ultimate in the back end, will be infectious to other teams, and it already is a little bit the way they're moving the ball. Kane touched on fitness. Like, the running power being there live to watch that. I, I, I haven't seen anything like it. So it's such a dynamic game for three quarters. Geelong stopped to a walk, and they just so kept going the post. Oldest list ever win a flag, unbelievable, 100 out of 100 seasons, six months on. It's very early, but the, this, this man management job is going to be far greater than last year. Yeah, I'm not saying it, Hutchie, because I've said it for the last seven years and I've written this <laughs> list off and they've made me look like an absolute fool. So they, they have added some youth. Um, you know, Ollie Henry comes in. Bruin's a good player. Bose we haven't seen yet, but he's young. So they, what they have done is, is topped up. They've been conscious of it for a long period of time. So I'm not going to write off any of those names on the screen. They'll be better in the back half of the year than the front half. And the, um, it'll be fascinating to see how that works in the in in ongoing for the Cats. Yeah, it will be. And I, I, all the talk about Joel Selwood, Caro leaving in the preseason, I thought, this is overblown. Like, they'll be OK. They, they've got a lot yeah. of strong leaders. But they're not... You know, I just spoke about it on the Sunday Footy yeah, Show because his yesterday. on-field role... Not, clearly, every game round for round last year was not that enormous as it has been in the past. But it's week to week, though, as well. Yeah, the stories it? you hear, the, the stuff you see that you don't see that he does. So, as, as is well documented, really relaxed club, you know, train different schedules than others, perhaps don't train as long, you're not required at the club for as long and it's very relaxed and they were doing that at the start of the game running out big smiles on their face but when it was go it was always go and Joel Sell was the one to set the scene down by six points at three quarter time he was the one crashing in 44 tackles they laid on the weekend there was a couple of really poor defensive efforts so it's just a watch that I think that's they, a bit harsh I think look, he, he's set the culture over many years and it's still there is the, is the hard edge culture of yeah. such a relaxed club and knowing when to flick that switch. So what are you Will saying here, Kane? Because you don't win premierships in March and is, th- is, they, they is, never get themselves going till about round. They'd, they'd be happy to be three wins. Time their run. Three wins and three losses. I don't think they'd be too I'm not, I'm not sold that they'd be happy at three wins well, and three they, losses. Well, in the past, that, they had, they've got... Hawkins didn't really have a pre-season. They can't stand Collingwood and Zach Tilly has, has said something similar to us on the Sunday footy show. There was a lot of heat. There was ferocity in that game. There was, there was niggle. I don't think they would be that happy and thrilled about losing that game of footy, particularly off the back of some really poor defensive stuff and defensive actions that weren't synonymous with Geelong last year. They beat up teams. Might not be a bad thing for them. It's a little bit insulting to Patrick Dangerfield, saying that he doesn't set that competitive edge. Well, I haven't seen... No, it it is in a way, but week to week, he's more your your jovial nature, your laconic, whereas Joel Seward has a bit more of a serious edge. Um, But I'm not questioning Patrick Dangerfield's attack on the footy. Certainly not. He's as tough as I've seen. 